so a lot of people have been reaching out to me asking me about tianeptine and or tianeptine tianeptine sulfate uh tianeptine sodium powder it's a nootropic it's a chemical research drug okay it's a research drug so it's kind of what I'm reading and hearing about is it's an opiate it's an opioid um, its chemical compound is a little bit um, tweaked so it's not really oxycotton it's not really heroin it's not really an opiate technically but um, it's interacting with the same receptors and I'm hearing that it is it is an opioid so it is acting as an opiate and I'm hearing people are people are getting on it and self-medicating with it. And um, I don't know. My advice is to probably just go the natural way and probably get because I just wouldn't I wouldn't think you should go and get on something strong and powerful that we don't know much about yet. We don't know much about the long term effects. We don't know much about the side effects. Um. I wouldn't want to gamble with that, man. Like, why would you want to gamble with something like that? And what if it takes control of you? And what if it just really, really takes takes you for a ride? Um, I just don't think it's worth it with these research drugs. We don't know much about them. And I, I'm hearing a lot of people say that when they don't have it, the withdrawals are unlike anything they've ever experienced. Very similar to heroin withdrawals, very similar to Oxycontin withdrawals. Um, I'm even hearing that it's worse than that, and it's something that they can't really identify because they've never heard of it. They haven't been through it yet. And like I said, there's not much research going on with this yet. There's not much information about this tianeptine, tianeptine research chemical drug um i advise you to maybe steer clear from it man i mean yeah the addict in us is like oh it's probably powerful oh it's probably better than methadone better than suboxone better than kratom but you have to not listen to that dark side of you you can't listen to that addict part of you um because you're going to be rushing into something and you're going to sabotage your mind and body and then all of a sudden, you're going to be ordering this shit online all the time. You're going to be dumping money into this. And it's going to have effects, and it's going to mess with you. And people aren't going to be able to help you because there's not much information on this drug yet. There's not much experimentation being done yet. There's not a lot of information on the withdrawals or the side effects. So you're going to have a hard time when you do withdraw from this stuff and do try to kick it, you are going to have a, a, a whirl of a lot more trouble because nobody knows what the hell it is. Nobody knows what you're using and it's a research chemical and there's not information on it. Um, there's enough out there on Kratom. I recommend going to Kratom. It's natural. It's an herb. Um, and yeah, it's going to help you a lot more. I think it's just going to help you be productive. It's going to help your mood stabilize it's going to bring you some energy it's going to help you focus it's going to help you maintain some kind of levelness some kind of foundation in your life you're not going to need alcohol you're not going to need pharmaceutical pills um yeah i, I wouldn't mess with tianeptine tianeptine um yeah it's just a gamble it's literally a gamble if you're if you're if you want to feed the monster and the monkey on your back and get into it it's a gamble like i said and then down the road you're going to be withdrawing maybe out of money and not able to get this stuff if it's only available online you're going to have a hell of a time um getting it just do the responsible do the right thing and get yourself on something that you can walk down this uh, down the street to a smoke shop and get if you need to, and order online from an herbal shop, if you have to, you know, Kratom is the way to go with these nootropics and these opioids. Like, why would you want to dive into the heavy stuff where there's not any information on recovering from it? There's no information on recovering from tianeptine right now. If you do find yourself on it and withdrawing from it, 
I recommend Kratom. Get yourself some red mangda or some green mangda and take about five to eight grams. Wait three hours, take five more grams, try to exercise and eat healthier. But yeah, don't, just don't mess with it. It doesn't seem like a safe thing. It doesn't seem smart at all. Hope this helps somebody out there.